Hello and welcome back. In this lesson, we are going to learn about how best we can customize our organization logo and custom color scheme to provide a consistent look and feel for your Azure Active Directory users when they are trying to sign in. So it's all about the sign-in page experience. Let's see if I try to log in with my account example. So I would actually get, if you see here, taking to your organization page. In this page, I have a, a specific look and feel experience. You see, I have a consistent look and feel uh, for my company. Let's say I have a blue background and also it says that you're actually trying to sign into Microsoft Corporation. All that uh, great experience you're actually getting. So this is this is what i'm trying to talk with in this lecture where you can customize so to configure this kind of you know customization all you have to do is you have to go through the uh, specific steps and then you need to end you need to give your logos and branding all that banner information so that's what we are going to talk in this lesson so first and foremost within this lesson to configure that kind of you know experience a uh, consistency look and feel experience for your uh, users that's azure active directory users to sign in you need to have at least the azure P, premium a premium license or the P2 even the basic editions but it doesn't support free edition of Azure Active Directory and also if you see here um, you can also support Office 365 licenses so it covers under Office 365 license because the backend is Azure Active Directory maybe you're talking about uh, a mailbox but the mailbox backend is the uh, identity and access management was uh, coming from the Azure Active Directory. So if you own that specific licenses from Office 365, it still support that. And coming back to the uh, configuration side, if you see here um, from the company, from the Azure Active Directory, if you sign into the Azure Active Directory, you have an option for company branding. So within the company branding, you have an option to configure a page um, background also and also the banner and the hint key and signing text all that can be configured and uh, also uh, you can configure uh, for a different regions a different user experience let's say if I try to log in from uh, France and you may get a different experience uh, for the users located from France region because uh, maybe they don't want to get everything in English so instead of that you know language specific also can be configured so that that's what the the second bullet and uh, also the uh, if you want to test it you know you simply you know, visit these um, URLs and replace where equal length your domain name and you can you know test it uh, this branding experience so let's jump into the uh, demo by going to the de let's see I have already logged into the Azure portal and just point to Azure Active Directory and make sure that you know this is what your uh, tenant if you try to configure for a different tenant you may have to switch it and uh, if I just go back and do configuration you see here company branding I simply have to click on company branding and here uh, under configure you have an option for all these configurations to be done so if you see here sign in background image so this is an image it must be in this specific pixel size and also the file size must be this and always Microsoft recommends you to have a PNG format so if you have uh, if you see here other formats it, this is that PNG is preferred but it also supports JPG and uh, JPEG so in this case I have already created a image uh, with the configuration of the image size with the uh, 1920 into uh, 1080 pixel size so I'll simply browse that file I'll give you this is my file I simply give this file and it has uploaded if you see here that looks good and uh, here for the banner logo also I have created so simply I'm gonna choose that banner logo this is a banner logo so what would happen is if I try to log in here uh, I get it here uh, a logo if you see here this is what the Microsoft logo so instead of that I can have my own logo here that's what I'm gonna get it and this must be below 10 KB and and also for the username uh, hint purpose you can give and make sure that you know you do not configure if you are actually offering any of the guest users to sign in that's what Microsoft recommends but 
or well, username hint is basically you can give the input uh, text that will appear for the users if they forget their username and uh, with this uh, text must be unique code format and without any links or code and it cannot exceed 64 characters and if you sign in uh, to your application Microsoft doesn't uh, recommend not to add any of the hints within this so let's say let's say I can give here as the input username as username at learningmylab.com that's my company name and uh, coming back to the sign in page text uh, this is where you can actually configure your hyperlinks let's say you can say that you can contact your help desk by visiting so and so URL or maybe you can bold the text or italic format so for that you have to uh, follow the text format which is mentioned in this specific format like uh, if you want to bold uh, give as the double star and then the text so that would actually become as the uh, bold similarly italic and underline uh, specific configurations can be done so this is so this is basically useful when you try to sign in you get in the down as this specific text whatever it's going to mention in this page so that's all uh, that's ever the sign in page text and let's jump into the other configuration where uh, you can configure any of the additional advanced settings let's say let's configure the advanced settings here like sign in background page so you wanted to give some kind of a background of the rgb color code you simply you have to search for the code if you if you have some code maybe you know these things definitely come from the a designer not from your end uh, so let me you know open up a website where i have the rgb code so i simply take whatever the code i want like from the w3school.com uh, so i can take this one of the code maybe that uh, specific code i can simply enter that code um, so that uh, it actually comes as a background of the color and this is where i can give the square logo um, and the dark theme logo so i'm first giving the square logo that's my company name or company logo which will appear here if you see here in the circle and also if if you're using a dark theme then a different logo can be given so in my case uh, the same logo can be suitable so i'm just giving this as the example so now the most important point would be comes here let's say you want your users to be staying signed in all the time uh, then you can choose this option remain as the sign in yes button so that would actually make the users to be signing uh, until they sign out uh, on their own so that's it you can save the configuration so the configuration has been successfully completed now this is where you can configure for additional uh, languages let's say that's a default one for English let's say I want for the uh, French so I can simply choose the language and all other configuration which is 100% similar but um, you will have in your own localized language text let's say instead of the welcome maybe the own language the own format so that you would be given so this is how it looks uh, the configuration of what we have done so far so let's go back and test this configuration let's do a quick test um, just to give you a background it takes close to 15 minutes or longer to appear the actual settings that are configured to get a user experience so uh, I have waited maybe a two three minutes and then I'm gonna try this now so if you see here I have the two user account one is from the on-premises Active Directory that's a Windows Server Active Directory other one would be the Azure Active Directory so I'll first try with the, a Windows Active Directory specific user account so I'll simply copy this username and if I just go to uh, any of the uh, portal.azure.com example and if I try to log in it's not mandatory that uh, only portal.azure so whatever the application you are trying to use so if there is an assign-in page you can simply enter and you get the same experience like this you see here the background is a user experience whatever we have given and also on the top you have the Padimati which is the organization name and also welcome to which is Padimati lab so it, it makes more sense that um, it gives you a great experience for the end user and if I try to log in with maybe other user account um, let's say 
from the Azure Active Directory, this user account has a two different accounts. Actually, I signed up with Azure uh, Pay As You Go with Paddy at Lenin, mylab.com, and also the same account, one, one more account, which is the uh, coming from the Azure Active Directory. So it will ask me to choose whether it's a personal account or work account. So uh, when I click on next, I would get it either work or school account or a personal account. So I signed up with the Azure with the personal account. Later point, I created this as the work account also. So both the passwords are different. So now this is my work account. So if I, as soon as I click on that, I get the same experience. So this makes more uh, convenient for the end users to get the same look and feel so that they are of uh, they, they can feel that they are actually logging into their own uh, user experience with the same company name all the time. So that's how uh, it's going to work. I hope this is useful for you. Thank you for watching this.